What's up, guys? War here. Welcome back to the channel. Good morning, and finally, 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 I'm here on my channel bringing you the Barbarian, the Bash Barb, okay? Now, I know that Barbarian, big shout out to Rob out there, and there's Barbarians flying all over the place because it seems to be the best class again in Season 4. So, we finally got together the basic bash barb okay you guys can see that all my gear is level four except for my shako and we spent some good time farming to get this gear so this is going to be an introduction to the bash barbarian um i'm not very good at playing it yet i'm still getting my wings under my you know but getting my wings but today i'm going to bring you the bash barb and i'm going to show you all the skills the paragon the gear etc with a few options especially if you're just getting started with the barbarian class this season or because of the brand new goblin or march of the goblin event that you're changing and trying out a new class because of the exp buff so let's go over everything that you guys need and some of the changes that i made that i really do enjoy so of course this is another basic attack build it seems to be that this is the season of basic attacks so we're going to go into bash and we're going to go up to combat bash after critically striking four times uh, with Bash using a two-handed weapon, your next core weapon mastery skill will overpower. We'll talk about that in a little bit more of an, an advanced stage. Uh, but basically, you can use Bash to set up Hammer of the Ancients into, excuse me, Violent Hammer of the Ancients. So when you overpower with Hammer of the Ancients, you deal 30% multiplicative damage for five seconds. So basically, you rack up four stacks, then you, you smash with Hammer, and then you get 30% more damage for five seconds as you're swinging. This is just a basic version. That's a little bit more advanced. But uh, just bash. We're going to skip all core. We're going to come down. We're doing three points in Imposing Presence for additional max life. We're doing three into Martial Vigor for damage reduction. Then we're going to be taking one into Outburst just to get to Tough as Nails. Just for a little bit more Thorns and Bleeding Damage. Then we're taking Challenging Shout to taunt nearby enemies so, with, so we get a nice little damage reduction. Then we got Enhanced so we get 20% bonus life, which is insane. Uh, then we're doing Iron Skin. This is why this is the basic version. Iron Skin is probably the most basic and best skill for people who are just now learning to play Barbarian. So you take Iron Skin, which is going to give you a barrier that absorbs 70% of my missing life. But then we're going to get Enhanced, which gives you, it allows you to absorb, absorb 137% more max life. And then Tactical, which while it's active, you heal for 10% of the barrier's original amount as, as life per second. So not only is this very good for players that are just now doing Barbarian, but it's very good to survive the pit and kind of farm the pit if you are struggling uh, with the play style of the build. So Iron Skin is highly recommended. Then we're gonna come down and we grab War Cry into Power War Cry. This just gives us a damage bonus as well as um, the other, the main focus of the build, which is allow us to get into to Berserking for four seconds. Then we got Booming Voice, so our shouts uh, last 24% multiplicative last longer. Then we got Aggressive Resistance, so damage reduction while Berserking. We should always be berser Berserking in this build. Then we got Pit Fighter for more damage. We got No Mercy for increased critical strike chance. And then we got Slaying Strike for more damage against injured enemies. So basically, once we get them low and stunned, or yeah, basically when we get them low and stunned or CC'd, slow and mobilized stunned, we do a lot more damage, right? Then we're going to come down and grab Steel Grasp, or, I, or as I call it, the Scorpion, right? Get over here. We got Steel Grasp, which is going to pull everything in, make them vulnerable, and make allow us. This is another way that we can become berserked for two seconds. Now we got Thick Skin, and then we're going down into Counter Offensive. We fortify. This is just to help us stay alive. Then we're going to grab three points into Heavy Handed because we're always using two handed for more critical strike damage. Wallop. While we're using bludgeoning, we are using a bludgeoning weapon. We do increased damage if they're stunned or vulnerable, which they're, they should always be. And then concussion. On the lucky hit, using a bludgeoning weapon has a 30% chance to stun enemies. or up to 45% when we're using a two-handed bludgeoning weapon. So we are using a two-handed bludgeoning weapon with Bash. So this is a 45% chance on a lucky hit to stun them, which is super good. Our key passive is un unconstrained. Increase Berserking's maximum duration by five seconds and his damage bonus to 100%. Now, I am opting for Call of the Ancients. The biggest reason that I'm doing uh, Call of the Ancients is mainly just for the boss or super large packs of mobs to get an increase in attack speed and damage. Okay, 20% 
Uh, bonus attack speed and 20% multiplicative increased damage is huge. I also really, really like this against bosses because when you make them vulnerable or you stagger them and then you pop ancient, you just beat the crap out of them and you can kill bosses very, very easily. Now, the other option that you could do is you could drop uh, Call of the Agents and just come up here and grab Rallying Cry. This is gonna, just going to give you more movement speed and allow you to be unstoppable, which is huge. And then you could fortify yourself, which is really great just to help you stay alive. Um, but I really like Call of the Agents here. This is pretty basic, but I, re I really do enjoy this. Now, let's go over to our, uh, our class expertise, which is pretty much always going to be two-handed axe. 10% multiplicative increased damage to vulnerable enemies. Super, super strong. Now let's get over to the gear, guys. Let's get over to the gear. Um, now the basic version, we do have Shaco. If you do not have Shaco, you can take a regular helmet. It's gonna look something like this. You're gonna get rid of the fury per second and that needs to be cooled down. But what you're gonna put on this is the ability to have damage reduction uh, for, what is it called, iron skin. They have damage reduction for each of the close enemies, I believe it's called. I think that's the one that you would put on. I can't remember what the power is called, but you would put that one on for more damage reduction. On the chest piece, we got Undying here to just help us stay alive. Of course, we got Pain Gorgers, Best in Slot, and the gloves for this build. More damage with basic skills, and it echoes, so it kind of helps out with some AoE clearing. Uh, Might in the pants, guys, for 20% uh, damage reduction because we are using basic skills. Hectic, this is going to help reset our cooldowns here which is very, very important. Every time we swing, we reduce it by two seconds. Man, I really wish that wasn't nerfed to two and it was still four. On our two-handed, we got Moonrise for the increased attack speed and damage. Now, it is very important on one of your two-handed weapons, it doesn't matter, you can pick either one, that you do take one damage while berserking. The main reason for this is when we get into the Paragon board, you're going to need it for the, uh, where's the note? For the Blood Rage, killing a bleeding enemy has a chance to grant Berserking for 5 seconds. Your damage is increased by 10% of your damage while Berserking up to 30%. Mine's at 27, but once I level up my gear even higher, this will be capped out. So you need to do it on at least, <clears throat> excuse me, at least one of your two handeds. Next, we got Edge Masters, obviously, for even more damage because our Fury should always be full. And then we got Royal Bone Blade of Intercom for even more damage. Then we got Rapid for the attack speed, which is huge. Uh, there is that bugged? That looks bugged. Basic skill is gaining 30% uh, attack speed up to 60. That looks bugged. Hold on a second. Is that bugged? Are we getting a bug live here in the video? This is a two-handed. Oh, hold on. Maybe maybe it just had the power on there. There we go. Okay. I was going to say, is that bugged? Holy crap. <laughs> Blizzard. Uh, next, we're doing Loop of uh, Retribution. This is going to be a very strong power. With all the chances that we have to stun enemies, we are going to be able to do 30% increased multiplicative damage to stun or knockdowns. This also applies to the boss. And I, I'm pretty sure that the retribution power is still double dipping against bosses. So this is just really help us close out our pit runs or just gets, you know, dungeon bosses, etc. Then we got Bold's Chieftain here. Whenever you cast a shout skill, its cooldown is reduced per seconds for each uh, nearby enemy up to a maximum of six seconds. And then, of course, we got adaptability on our necklace for even more damage. Um, we did happen to get armor capped as well as res capped here. I know that is very difficult in for barbarians but one last thing that we you can do it you just really need to invest in it in uh some of your gear you need to get like a lightning ring a fire ring or a cold etc just kind of help ease out that extra bit of resistance you can also do what i did here and then you cap up resistance on your actual gear itself and then temper gear on or resistance on which is something because i don't like being low resistance on any of my characters even though barb is insane i want to have that stuff capped so uh, I didn't really have a better spot for the res there, so we just put that there. And same thing here on my boots. I did get an all res on my boots as well as armor, so that way I'm capped out. Now, one thing that I want to go over really quickly, and this is going to be for some of the gear. Now, the basic version of a lot of this gear is going to look like this. You are going to have a weapon or two-handed weapon that has damage to close with bash cleaves. 
when you're first starting out, that is perfectly fine to have all of that, right? Your damage while berserking in your Paragon board will be capped out, which is perfectly fine. Now, once you get to a little bit more advanced stage, you want to take the risk. You really want to roll critical strike damage. Now, for some reason, Barbarian cannot roll critical strike damage on tempering. It just can't do it. I don't know why. It, it just can't. So what you have to do is you have to take the gear that you want and go over to a rogue. If you've leveled up a high level rogue, at least to like level 70 or so. And you're going to temper on critical damage through the rogue class to be able to put this on here. I don't know why rogue is the only class that can temper critical strike damage, but once you do that, then you have critical strike damage on both of your one handers and one of your two handers. And then the other one has to have damage while berserking. So we also did this on our rings. We tempered on the critical strike damage, as you guys can see here. So that is just a little, like a little tidbit there. If you, you know, when you're looking at my gear with the critical strike damage, that is the only way to do it. Okay, let's go over to the Paragon board and kind of go over my glyphs here. We got exploit, right, for the vulnerable damage. We got Irie for while we're da increased damage while we're berserking and we take 10% reduced damage, which is awesome. We got Marshall after casting a shout skill, the active cooldown of other shout skills are reduced. We got Might for even more increased damage, especially while wielding two-handed weapons. Then we got Territorial for damage to close and damage reduction. And then we got Undaunted, even more damage while we're fortified, which should be all the time, as well as 10% damage reduction while we are fortified. So the build is very, very tanky, as you guys all know. We do a lot of damage. We are taking Carnage while Berserking. Our crit strike chances increases our attack speed. Then we also take the Blood Rage Legendary Node. This will end up being capped at 30%, which is huge. And then we also end up taking Decimator. Each, uh, each time you make an enemy vulnerable, my damage is increased. Overpowering a vulnerable enemy grants an additional. So this will be for a little bit more advanced when you pop on uh, Hoda. Um, and that is it, guys. That is the board. That is the build. Um, now we're going to do just a little showcase. Now, when you're first starting out, I'm just going to do an 80. Um, this build in its current form, even at 4 across the board we can do up to a 96 or 100 but i don't want to make the video too long for since this is going to be an introduction barbarian video uh you can definitely do much higher pits um but this is just such a basic even if you don't have stuff leveled to four not master worked at all you can still speed farm 80s no problem but for the purposes of the video i want to show you how to kind of go through the rotation and just bash stuff into oblivion this has been one of my like favorite builds to play for barbarian Twisters, I think, is a little bit more fun and fluid, but I really do enjoy this. Now, for pots, if you guys want any pots to run, you could do Elixir of Precision. That's probably the best one for me, uh, for the because you want as much critical strike chance and damage as possible. So we're gonna pop that, <clears throat> and then you could also pop for your pit runs if you have got the quest and done. You come over here and get grab the quest elixir for the anti venom. Anti venom will take my life from fifty four. Uh, thousand to sixty-five thousand, which will be huge. And let's go in and do an eighty. I can't wait for the patch, so that way it'll be on the last one that you do, which will be sweet. So let's just speed farm an eighty, just to kind of showcase how the build works. I don't want this video to run too long, guys, but I just wanted the introduction. I don't play a lot of Barbarian. I play some each and every single season to just kind of you know play the builds and stuff. I originally got this built to speed farm, but Rogue just happened to be better. So all you're going to do is pop your shouts. You're going to yank him with steel, steel grasp. Make everything vulnerable and just destroy stuff. That is all you're going to do. You got, uh, you got steel, steel, uh, excuse me, iron skin for like your get out of jail free pot. You know, we're just going to almost kind of like a leap run here. Yank stuff in. Make sure you're always steel grasping the whole group. So you get the berserking bonus as well as the uh, uh, vulnerable bonus as well. And then that extra chance to like stun them. And then they just they just die. You yank everything in. I just love saying like, get over here. Come here. And then they just die. So you can elite farm with this. You just kind of speed through, yank everything in. Oop, I got, I got feared. I am Barbarian. Yep, just destroy everything. Barbarians are just so busted. 
I almost want to drop Iron Skin just for the basic version and put on the other Cry just so when you are affected by the some of the status effects that you just, you know, you could just break that and be unstoppable, which is super good. Make sure we always pull those guys in, get rid of that damage reduction. I'm not going to grab the lethal for the video, but uh, yeah, you just yank them all in and then they just die. Super, super easy. Yeah, I think that's what I would do. I would drop Iron Skin, I think, for the other Rally and Cry. Or for the other Cry, just to... And I, I'm popping my shots really bad, poorly here. Get rid of all of them. Come here! Come here! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I knew that was going to happen. I was stunned. I think that's what we want to do just for the effects, guys. We'll keep that in the video, but I think we're going to end up swapping that. I'll swap that out after. Yeah, I think that would just be better. Iron skin is great. But the status effects are so bad. Yeah, I think that I think that'll be the swap for the basic version, guys. But you can see the build play, it's just, you guys know Bash. You guys, it's just super easy. Dash through. I'm not even, I'm not grabbing any shrines for this. Get rid of all these guys. Get rid of these elites. Come here. Yank them all in. Because that, that berserking is so important. You basically want to, like, just yank them in whenever you guys get a shot. You could just elite hunt if you guys want. Just yank them all in. Summon my guys. Get that increased damage and attack speed on big mobs like that. It's a really good time to, to bring in mobs. It's just because the ancient... Uh, the What is it called? The ancients has like a decent cooldown. But that attack speed is so good. So what we're going to do is real quick, I just want to smash my bash to get my resets here and then we're going to go in and destroy this boss and it's the same strategy with the boss right it's just going to come in pop a shout steel grasp bash 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 we're going to save when we um when we like get him stunned to do call of the ancients now we do call of the ancients and just dominate you can see how, like, crazy it is. Yeah, and that's it, guys. Barb is super, super easy to play. This is one of the best builds in the game. Um, again, what I would definitely go change is I would probably do this. I would just take this back off, guys. This is going to be a correction, and we're going to take we're going to take the cry. We're going to take the cry for the speed to get through these pits faster as well as to have the unstoppable. But that is Bash Barbarian, guys. This is uh, the build that I really enjoy playing for Barb. Uh, I think I'm going to try out Twister next. So I think this is really, really fun. So shout out to Rob again um, for the build, which is really, really cool. I made a couple adjustments here. Um, so I really do enjoy this version. I really do love Call of the Ancients, especially on bosses or the super big packs, just to have that extra attack speed and just blast right through them. But this build is very, very fun. It's very, very fast. I wish that I could come out, come up with points to put in the swiftness to be able to move even faster. But there's just no spots for that. So, yeah. But that's the build, guys. Like the video. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the basic starter version of Bash Barb. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.